Hey, what do you tell your buddies about all the haters? It's it's really, Chris, it's not a lot of haters. That's the reality of it, you know. For every hater, like, uh, for, for whatever reason, I'm not alone. <clears throat> it's society in general. A hater's light. There's something wrong with the human condition, I believe. Because it's 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 like this for everybody, but the haters' light shines a little brighter than someone that's not hating. You know, someone showing you a little love. That light doesn't. That light's like this, but a hater's light, for whatever reason, is bright. So when you really like, uh, really, really think about it, the, the reality is what I have learned over the years. Like I have way more people that are cool towards me, support me than than hate on me, and you gotta you gotta try to focus on that. They don't know any of that. My friends, they don't know any of that. We don't talk about any of that. You know, if uh, if my career comes up, yeah, they're certainly proud of me, but that's not why they hang out with me. <clears throat> I had a whole bunch of people that hung out with me because I was a big radio star. Whole bunch. But the real people I hang out with, they they, like I said, they were there before I hit, when I had zero money. They were there when I was doing my thing and now they're right back here uh after the fact those are like real people if you can find a few of those in your life you're good if you can find a few people that are, are there whether you're having a, a good run or a bad run those are the people you keep close to you obviously oh my god as soon as i as soon as the radio show went away I'm, it was it was it was absolutely amazing amazing how many people turn their backs on me? But you know what? The people that are important in my life, my friends, my family, they didn't turn their backs on me. They checked in on me every day. They knew I took a huge hit when Sirius XM let me go. They knew I wasn't good when Carl and Vic died. Um, they were there for me, texting, uh, showing up, calling, hanging out. And then some of these other people I actually thought, uh, you know, I, I made a real relationship with dating, gave two craps. In the end, I was just the guy in the seat.